Hello everyone, this is today's video analysis for June 13, 2019. Today we're looking at the GBP USD, the Great British Bound versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Now I know that I usually don't do the same currency pair uh, one day after another. Yesterday we were talking about the GBP USD into the resistance zone at the top of the little range that we've been discussing over the past week and a half or so. Today, we do see the market fell off of that resistance zone, held right around the 1.2725, 1.2745 purple shade area, top of the black box, what we were talking about yesterday, and has come down now to the bottom of that same box into the green zone. So while yesterday we were talking about potential resistance and maybe a selling opportunity or breakout higher, today we're talking about support and the possibility of a turn back higher or uh, a break lower. It's just the opposite just one day later. And as we zoom in here a little bit on the chart, you can begin to see how the market's been playing through uh, between the purple and the green zone. Now, if you're paying attention to yesterday's zones, the, the numbers of the zones, and uh, if you were in the live trade room, these zones are going to be slightly different than what you saw yesterday. Slightly different. I've adjusted them slightly. So you want to make note of where they are. Again, the purple shaded area, 1.274525. Top is 45, bottom's 25. The green zone, probably a little bit different, 1.2680, 1.2665. So the green zone may be the most significantly different from yesterday. Not significant, but it is different. The blue zone, 1.2630, 1.2615. So it's not too hard to see what's happening here. We're settled into the support at the bottom of the zone, at the bottom of the range. We see a little bit maybe of uh, influence of an inverted head and shoulders, left hand low, middle low. Now we're forming the right shoulder potentially here for the pound dollar into the green zone. So, And that could be as deep as the blue zone, I suppose, as well. But at least right now, it's not too hard to see we're into a support zone. Let's go ahead and zoom it in one more time. And this green shade area, again, 80 down to 65 is our current support. If you're looking for a long shot for the pound, this is the place to begin looking for it because we are at support. Just think, one, two, three, four, five, six of the past seven days, if you would have taken along at the green zone, it was fruitful all the way back up to the purple shaded area. It doesn't mean the market's going to continue to do that. It just means that's what it's done and we need to take note of it. Uh, the next thing that could happen is that the market stays bearish, breaks through 26 65 and goes down to the blue zone so we're paying attention to this green zone in a similar fashion that we were paying attention to the purple zone yesterday where it was bouncing off of it or breaking through it tried to get above couldn't do it turned right back down and went back lower again i think something else interesting here for us today is that the usd the dollar index is into resistance and i'm just going to take this blue circle right here and put it right there that's where the usd is right at resistance 96.45.55 that's where yesterday came to a screeching halt after a little bit of a rally stalled out right here at 20 96.45 uh it's basically closing the gap from the weekend, last weekend. So again, with the USD at resistance and the potential to bounce off of it for a little bit, maybe go back down towards the orange shade area, if the USD were to fall, we'd actually have a higher expectation that the pound dollar would rise. That's the way that works. If the USD breaks that yellow zone, 96.55 and goes higher, then we of course would look for the pound dollar to break the green zone and go lower down to the blue zone. So interesting here, watching the USD and how it will uh, imply directional movement here for the pound dollar. Anyways, here we are sitting at the green zone, four hour time frame. Doesn't change our analysis any, just shows us a little bit more detail into this area. Uh, support here, bounce up, support here, bounce up, and here we are again looking for support and the bounce up. Of course, the risk is always going to be the same. The risk is it gets underneath that green shade area and goes lower. So stop losses should be underneath. Uh, the green zone, if you decide to take a short, I probably would say underneath that last low uh, would be a good place to put it. So you're going to put it just slightly lower than that. Um, 
close to 126, 50, 45 area, somewhere in there. Uh, that way, if it breaks through, you limit the impact to your trading account. If it doesn't, if it bounces off, you target the purple shaded area, of course, as your target. And of course, if it can ever break above that purple zone, we'll look for further movement higher for the pound dollar. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.